friends. Today, we're going to talk about a passage from the Bible that comes from the book of Acts, chapter 17. In Acts, the Bible tells us that God created heaven and earth. That means God created everything in the heavens and on the earth, too. First, before we get started, let's talk about our God sightings for this week. My God sighting is my cat named Peanut Butter. We call him Peanut Butter because he's the same color as Peanut Butter. We got Peanut Butter from the SPCA right before the coronavirus hit. When we got him and brought him home, he was afraid of us. If we talked or moved or, or walked across the room, he got scared and would run away and hide underneath my bed. But since we've been home for a few months, we've spent a lot of time working with him. And now he isn't afraid anymore. He loves to snuggle up with us on the couch or sleep in my bed or walk around as we move around the house and just meow at us and talk. It's so nice having a pet to spend time with. Now you can talk in your families about your pet or some other God sighting that you had this week. Now it's time to gather our supplies. You will need two pieces of paper for each person, a few crayons or colored pencils or markers, tape, and three things that are really important to you. Look around your house to find three of your favorite things. Now that you've gathered all your supplies, get the three objects that are really important to you that you chose and put them in front of you so you can see them. In Acts, the Bible tells us about a man named Paul who followed Jesus. When Paul taught in a town called Athens, Greece, the people who lived there worshiped statues and other things that were important to them instead of worshiping God. Now look at those things in front of you. I'll show you what I chose. First, my children are very important part of my life. I couldn't get them all to be in my video, so I chose a photo of them to bring. I also chose a dumbbell weight to show that weightlifting is very important to me because it helps me stay strong and feel good. The third item I chose is my phone. My phone has become pretty important to me during the coronavirus. Since we're stuck at home and we can't go visit people, I use my phone to still communicate with them and stay close to them. I can call people or text people or use Zoom to see people by video. So it's become pretty important to me. You know, you can even call me on my phone or send me a message anytime you want. You chose some really special things too. But even though those are your favorite things, we always make sure to remember that God is more important than those favorite things. But the people in Athens didn't know about God, so they worshiped other things, which we call idols. Paul even saw a sign on a temple that said, to an unknown God. Paul was surprised by that because he knows his God. He taught the people about the one and only true God so they'd know our real God. Let's put on a play to show what God taught people in Athens. Paul told them about Jesus, and he taught them that God created heaven and earth, and he made everything on heaven and earth. Everyone's going to act in our play, so stand up and get ready. For the first scene, we're going to jump up and down and say either heaven or earth. I'll do it with you. 
Ready? Heaven, earth, heaven, earth, heaven, earth, heaven, earth, heaven, earth, heaven, earth. Now, we will all shout, God created heaven and earth, and wave our hands in the air. Are you ready? God created heaven and earth. Great! We've just finished the first part of our play. It's so much fun, isn't it? Now, let's find out more things that Paul taught the people. Paul taught that God gives all people life and breath. We are all God's children. For this scene, everyone will stand up one at a time and say their names and something special about themselves. Next, everyone will put their arms around one another's shoulders and say together, we are all God's children. That's the end of part two. Excellent work, wow. Isn't God an awesome creator? Can you believe that he created us and that we're all his children? And you know what? There are still more things Paul taught the people. Next, Paul taught that God gives everything life and breath. Everyone will pretend to be anything that's living. For example, you might put your hands together and move them like a fish swimming through the water, or crawl on all fours and oink like a pig, or put your hands up tall like a plant growing outside in the sunshine. You choose what living thing you would like to pretend to be. scene for our play. God created everything that has life. One more thing Paul taught is that we say we're sorry when we make mistakes or make bad choices. Each person will kneel one at a time, fold their hands, bow their heads, and say, I'm sorry. Like this. I'm sorry. Then, each person will stand up one at a time, raise both hands high, and say, thanks for Jesus. Now it's your turn. Because of Jesus, we will live forever. Let's thank Jesus one more time. Everyone will put their hands in the air and say, thanks for Jesus together. Ready? Thanks for Jesus. Our play is finished. You all did a great job in our play about what Paul taught the people in Athens. Everyone applaud yourself for your wonderful performance. Paul taught the people in Athens all about God. He taught them that God is the creator of everything in the world. You will need a piece of paper and something to draw with. Now, let's draw some of the things that God created. Paul wanted the people in Athens to know about God so that they could believe in him and in Jesus. Paul wanted them to live forever with Jesus in heaven. Now it's time to share your drawings with your family. Tell about your favorite thing that God created. And talk about how you can be like Paul this week and tell someone how God created heaven and earth. We learned when Paul was in Athens, he told the people that God made the whole world. He told them that God sent Jesus to earth, Jesus died and then came back to life, and Paul told them that if they believed in Jesus, they could live forever with God in heaven. 
Let's practice what we will say so we can tell people about God just like Paul did in Athens. Everyone will need a piece of paper and something to write with. We are going to write words that tell about God near the center top part of the paper. I wrote friend on mine. Other words you might want to write are creator or powerful, or loving, died for us, or forgives. Think of the words that you would like to tell about God. If you can't write or you choose not to, you could draw a picture instead. You could draw a heart for God's love or a cross or a globe because God created the world. Paul told everyone he could about God, and we can too. We can tell others about God every day. Let's practice telling each other about God using the words you wrote or the pictures you drew. We can start by telling others that God created heaven and earth. Let's make something to help us tell others about God. We're gonna tape our papers into megaphones. A megaphone makes whatever you say sound a little bit louder. That way, more people can hear you. And since we want everyone to hear about God, we're going to make our own megaphones. Take your paper that you wrote your words on and hold it out longwise like this. You're going to roll the end closest to you all the way in and then tape it shut so it doesn't come undone. You'll see one end will be very narrow. The other end will be wider. And if you look inside, you can even see the words that you wrote to help remind you of what you want to tell people about God. have some questions for you to talk to your families about. What were some of the words on your megaphone that you think your friends would like about God and why would they like that? What sometimes makes us not want to share with others about God and what are ways we can overcome those fears about sharing God with others? Keep your megaphone as a reminder that you can share about God because he is wonderful. Now you don't have to shout at people, but you don't have to be afraid either because God created heaven and earth. That means God created you. Just as he did for Paul, God has given you the creative skills you need to share Jesus in your own way. Now let's use our megaphones to make our voices a little bit louder as we sing together. <laughs> 